this is Kenzie Wolf, and today we'll be doing a survival shelters video that me and my friend made. This is the side of the fort, as you can see. And so yeah, we're gonna head towards the front of the fort. It's kind of rainy today, so we won't be out here for very long. So this is the front of the fort. And it's really nice. It took us about, uh, well, we've had this fort for about four months. It didn't take us too long to make it. But, yeah, we, over here, we have a little fenced in area that we found this chicken wire in the woods. And we kind of made a circle, put some sticks down to hold it in place. And this is going to be a little garden place for in the summer. And over here, out of sticks and we made this because we want to try to keep some of the animals out like deer and sometimes people will get in here and we just want to make sure that they don't come through here but usually they don't but yeah so we just stuck the sticks in the ground and we put this wire to hold them there pretty strong actually and yeah and this is where we chop our trees and we usually don't get very big of trees we usually chop about this size because we don't want to affect the balance of the forest. So we usually come right here and we chop between these logs. Works pretty good. Chop in there. And so back to the fort. The fort is made out of mainly sticks and branches that cover up pretty good and some bark and dirt. We've had compost piles and we've pushed it into the, try to fill some of the cracks to keep it watertight, but it works pretty good for watertight, but we don't have all the holes filled, but it's okay. Um, so we're going to head into the fort and see what's inside. It's actually quite big for a fort. We didn't. We weren't um, planning on having it this big because we wanted a nice little cozy house, but it's pretty big. Um, this is a shelf that my friend made, and it's to keep some items that we find in the woods up there on. Quite nice. And the ground is made out of grass. We pulled the grass by hand, and there's bark pieces under here that's under the grass to keep it somewhat dry from the ground during the winter time. And yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. So, let's get out of here. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.